up in the work Recording you see in class. Program. Hello? Yes, it was but given to you as an assignment, right? We so draw we a map. Every, yeah, we hope everyone drew that map. There was some assignment that was sent in the Google Classroom. Yes, teacher. Mm, so were you able to draw the map? Yes. Yes. Oh, okay. Um, I hope we are all fine. Can someone give us an opening prayer, please? No, no. Um, let's have a decade. A decade faith, please. An opening prayer from your side. Let's humble ourselves when we pray. Loving King of Glory, thank you for this day and for the gift of life. As we are going for this history lesson, we pray that we'll understand everything and that all will go well. We also pray that the connection will be good. In Jesus' name I've prayed. Amen. Uh, we seem to have lost teacher Beatrice. Oh. Are you yes. on board? Yes, okay, let me say something before we take off. Yeah, go on. Hello, before class. I... You're all welcome to this lesson. And before we start, I'd like to make some announcements. I'd like to make some announcements. And please, girls, note this with all the concern. One has to do with lowering your hands. When you have something to say, please raise your hand. And once you're picked on, lower your hand immediately. We wouldn't like to entertain hands up when we are teaching. It disrupts the flow of the lesson. Another issue has to do with your environment at home. Wherever you are, please request the people you work with, you live with at home, to give you space in this lesson so that they do not interfere. In the previous lessons, we had people mentioning several other things outside the lesson. We also had young men talking through. Please request your family people to give you space. And also as we flow, we shall request you to identify yourselves properly. Ensure that along against your name, there is S1K, S1A. You mention the stream in short, please. And can we request you to do that? In case you came in with a name which is not very clear, adjust and make sure you add your stream. Do it now. So we say thank you as you do that. We are going to look at the last bit of our topic. Our topic has been Bantu migration. We looked at the reasons why the Bantu moved into East Africa. We also looked at length on the course, which has to do with where people passed, where they settled. And then after doing that, we now have to look at another idea. And this is the effects of the Bantu settling in East Africa. So girls, can you please mute yourselves? All of you maintain discipline and mute. You only unmute when you're making a submission. Okay. So what we have to do today is we are right, we are going to study the reasons, I mean the effects of the Bantu migration into East Africa. And for that reason, we shall ask you to get your writing material. As the teacher comes on board, we shall be wrote, writing things or noting them in our notebooks in the form of summary. Then later we transfer and make full sentences, complete ones in our class workbooks. So for now, we are going to look at the effects of the Bantu migration and settlement into East Africa. I therefore request I therefore request teacher Sally to take over as she looks at the effects. Please mute. Girls, mute yourselves. Thank you. Yes, teacher. 
Thank you very much, teacher Beatrice. I want to welcome the girls on board and um, we ask God to really lead us and guide us the right way to go. Uh, right now, I don't want to waste time. Let's go straight to the effects of the Bantu migration on East Africa. We very well know where the Bantu came from and that wherever that the Bantu entered and settled, they are believed to have affected those people that they found already settled in the areas or those people affected them or the other ones that affected the people that they found living there. So um, I want to call upon the answers to this question. What were the effects of the Bantu migration on the peoples of East Africa? What were the effects of the Bantu migration on the people of East Africa? If you have the answer, you raise up your hand, teacher Beatrice will, will give you a go ahead, you give us the answer. Brief, be brief, and then we move on. Teacher Beatrice. Yes, Adeke, unmute yourself. Um, the Bantu migration led to wars and conflicts wherever they passed. Good. Next, next person that is Atukunda Vanessa. Atukunda. Um, it led to displacement of the people. Which people? The people that were in East Africa. Okay. Your statement is now complete. Good. Award for Crown. They introduced new crops like bananas and yam. Good. Uh, mm -hmm. Primrose Mutamba. And they led to population increase in East Africa. Very good. Dagano Queen. Dagano. Ayeva the Christabel. Um, they introduced Bantu languages. Okay, like? Like Luganda, Rinyankole, Rutoro. Good. I can't see me, Grace. Can't see me. Mujaku, Fwina. Mwafunye, Naida. Please, can someone no. mute the microphone? There is someone who is disrupting us a lot from the background. Um, I, I have a Cynthia. Any effects of the ban to migration and settlement on the peoples of East Africa? Yes, teacher. They introduced yeah. better trade system. Mm -hmm. Namuli, you near? They introduced iron smoking. Yes, Abigail Akisa. Abigail. They introduced iron smelting. It was the same and, as, sorry. Iron smelting, but you can add on. There are two points on iron smelting. They didn't, and okay, that they introduced the knowledge of iron smelting. Then the other point could, can also be they introduced the iron implements, isn't it? To the peoples of East Africa, good. Let's move on. Chirabo Hope, Chirabo. Um, they introduced back, back cloth making. Back cloth? Who are those people that, by the way, introduced back cloth? The band, the band, did the band introduce back cloth? Where did it come from? Okay, um, let me try to clarify on this. Back cloth was not introduced by the Bantu, but the Bantu just copied the knowledge of back cloth from the Batembuzi, the Bajuezi, those people that first lived in the Interlacastrian region. Uh -huh. We shall look, that is our next topic after this. We shall be looking at the Interlacastrian region and you get to know all about that. Next, next person, Naguja, any effect? 
that the ban to hard on the peoples of East Africa? No, I just wanted to ask a question, but it got answered. It oh, okay. Nalule Rukia. Um, teacher, I have they introduced they introduced new culture and met, new methods of farming. Hello. Yes, maybe we hear you. Oh, they introduced new culture and new methods of farming. Culture and new methods of farming. Is that one yes. point or two points? What two? I'm not sure. I think there are two. There are two points in one. They are two. It's good that you've realized, but in history we, we are encouraged to give one. We, we okay, but you can you don't combine points, but you give one at a go, right? Good. Appeal. Appeal, Grace. Appeal, Grace. Uh, give I us a yes. I think they introduced you methods of administration, like that's for kings. Ah, very good. Um, Ayeva, what do you have um, to say? Teacher, is it Please, your network is not okay. To the formation of kingdom. I ever please your network. They led to the formation of. Yo, we we seem to have lost her out. Um, Mirembe, Mirembe, Emily. They intermarried with people in the air as they settled, giving rise to new culture. Very good. Next person, Abigail, Akisa. Akisa? They introduced a new system of colonized administration, such as kingdoms. What did you say? There is a word you said. Did you say colonized? Repeat Centralized that word. administration. Oh, very good. I didn't, I, true, the word is centralized system of administration. That is good. Next person, Primrose. Um, they introduced a new system of building permanent houses. Oh, that's very good. And lastly, Namuli. Oh, there is Namuli and then Abigail. Mm -hmm. Can we new, hear languages, from you? new languages were introduced among them, for example, Uganda, Lusoga, and Yankoli. Okay. Unless if there is a point that hasn't been mentioned here, someone put up the hand because it looks like we are now repeating the points that we already mentioned. Teacher Beatrice. Hello, Teacher Beatrice. Teacher, have an answer. Hello, teacher Beatrice. Yes. Yes, I, request has that you, I request that you take on as I try to share the screen. Okay. Yeah, you continue with the discussion. I try to share the screen. Thank you. Yes, Abigail, you have something to say. Please submit. Animate yourself and submit. New fighting tactics. Sorry. Few, I mean, new fighting tactics and weaponry were introduced by the Bantu. Okay. If we can go ahead and ask a few questions on that. Like now, can we mention some of the weapons that they could have used? The use of short stabbing spears. Hey. <laughs> that one is a when you talk of short stabbing spears, it is away from what we are studying now. I don't know. Do you see anything on the screen, teacher? Yes, yes. Yeah. we totally see it. Oh. Yes, teacher. Oh. Yes. Good. Uh, teacher Beatrice, continue engaging them as oh. I get the rightful slide. Yes. So girls are saying when you talk of mm. short stabbing spears. 
Mm. That effect is related to the Angoni, not the Bantu that we are studying about now. So one of the one of the fighting equipment that Abigail told us we can say spears, but we are not going to add there the word short stabbing. We have some other contribution. Can we hear from our default? Our default, please. Yeah, Annie. Phone. Hello? Phone. Pardon? Phones for fighting. Yeah. Crown? Crown, what are you saying? I say phone for fighting. Another fighting that is phone. Unfortunately, we can't get that word, dear. Yeah, she said horns for horns. That oh. one will be. Um, okay, then Vanessa, unmute and uh, teacher, I wanted to ask that what is the difference mm. between iron smelting and iron implements? I, I don't get the, the, the meaning. Iron smelting is a process of making iron implements. Then, what the teacher told us that they also introduced implement. They came with implements. So implements are the already made products out of iron. But then, iron smelting is a process of making those implements. In other words, the Bantu introduced the knowledge of making implements out of iron. That is one. Then another point is that the Bantu introduced iron equipment into East Africa, such as spears, hoes. We can look at that. So that makes the difference. Deborah, can you please speak to us? Unmute and submit. Deborah Walakira. The Bantu introduced new religion. For example, they used to worship gods, gods of fertility, gods of lightning, gods of thunder. Teacher Beatrice, uh, do you see the screen? Yes, we see screen heading summary of effects. Okay. Um, so I think that? I went off. I went off briefly, but now. Uh, are, are you going through these points with the girls? Are they trying to explain them? Teacher Sally? Yes, please. Let me just wind up with what uh, Deborah has told us. So the point mm. Deborah has given, we shall mm. say they introduced traditional religion in the Interlacastrian region. And that's what she explained as the different names given to gods of different occurrences like Mukasa and the others. So they introduced mm. traditional religion in the Interlacastrian region. So teacher Sally, thank you. Can we please give you back the mic? No, please, you can continue. But then as just, I'm just of the view that they look at these points and then they explain, they give some, put some flesh on them and we see how they try to explain them. Okay. You continue picking the hands and then they, they, they explain on the points and then we move on. We, we have more points, actually. Please continue, continue muting yourselves, girls. We see some of you have not done that. Okay. Mm -hmm. Nanule Lukia, please com communicate to us. Um, teacher, introduction of new languages here in Uganda. Long time ago, maybe they never used to get married the way you, the Uganda get married, whereby they enter in the house. Then they do some culture, uh, some religious, I don't know, culture. Then the boy. Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. And we know where. Well, let's be Which systematic. Point? Look at Introduction. Let's look at the, screen, the first one. Let's begin oh. with the first one. I wanted the last one. It's okay. Okay, let her explain. Okay. Mm. Which one are you picking, Nanule? 
introduction introduction introduce new languages new cultures i mean okay mm -hmm. um in uganda maybe there were no there was no the way the baganda get married but now the the different cultures get married like the baganda mm -hmm. yes that is it okay. is that the that okay mm -hmm. let's speak on some other person to explain we shall let them explain we shall come in later you have a hope mm. unmute and submit the band to introduce new food such as yams and cassava yams and cassava thank you good mm-hmm let's go the gladys Mm. Unmute and I'm submit. To, yeah, I'm going to I'm going to explain number one. Introduction. What? I'm going to explain number one. Mm -hmm. Introduction of the knowledge of iron working. And mm -hmm. when the Bantu came into East Africa, where they came from, they used to they used to carry out iron working. They used to make tools for farming, which Included like they used to make them from iron working, so they introduced it in East Africa. Yeah, and they made oh. new too. Mm -hmm. Did you give? Can you give us an example of the iron tools that were made? Hello. Excuse me, teacher Beatrice. Do you hear me? Yes. The girls, you hear me? Okay. I want to put Hello. this clear. Can I put this clear? That in history, when you're explaining a point, right? This is the order. You get the point, explain, and then give possible examples, okay? You explain, pick on the point, explain the point. If there are examples, you give the examples too. Mm -hmm. Let's move on. Mm -hmm. Yes, the next person to contribute is Mirembe Emily Nicole. Mm -hmm. um, teacher, I wanted to add on to the first point of introduction of knowledge of iron working. Great. Mm -hmm. uh, when they came here, they introduced the implement, the knowledge of implements, of making implements from iron, such as holes and spears. Thank you. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Another person? Um, teacher, for me, I think that the Bantu, the, I'm going to explain this point of introduce new food crops. And mm. I think that the last time it used to grow crops, like simple crops like maize. And then I think the Bantu, when they came in, they introduced like matoke because people nowadays, the bazen now, eat matoke. So I think they introduce things like matoke, beans, or something like that. Thank you. Next person. Shirabo Pal, Hannah. I wanted to explain the point of increased population in East Africa. Um, Please go ahead. When the Bantu came in into East Africa, they found people already settled. And some of them moved, some of them stayed. And uh, when the Bantu mixed with these people, you know, because they had come in big groups, they, they, they increased on the number of people living in one area. And then they also intermarried with people, which means they, they gave birth to many children and the population just kept on increasing. Thank you. Next point. Excuse me, teacher. Yeah. I have to add on uh, to the point where they say that the Bantu increase the population in East Africa. Go ahead. Uh, as the Bantu, uh, when, the, uh, uh, when the Bantu came from the original land, the Cameroon Highlands, they were big. Mm -hmm. the, the, one of the reasons why they migrated was because there were very many people in that area and there was scarce land for them to do their activities. So as when they reached when they reached uh, East Africa, they already had big numbers. So 
as the intermarried, okay, the big numbers themselves led to the increase of population in East Africa and they married other people that they found, they also increased the population even more. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, thank you for the submission. Yeah, next person. Which point yeah. haven't we explained here? Mahuga charity. Which point? Hmm. To explain the point of cultures. That's the last one. Excuse yeah, then we move. Excuse me, T. Yes, your excuse. Cha, I just wanted to say that I had just joined because okay. of my asking if you would tell me what, what we are talking about. Yeah. Do no. you, are you able to see the screen? Are you able to see the screen? We are looking at the summary of the effects of the Bantu migration on the peoples of East Africa, please. So can, the, can someone, teacher Beatrice, Shea, explain the you. last point? Hello? Yes. Now we still have hands up. Yeah, can that last Mutamba? point. Mutamba, say something. Mutamba, your hand is up. Yeah, um, I would like to explain the last point of introduce new cultures. Um, like take an example, we have so many tribes in Uganda, and so they have of which they have different cultures. The Basoga are they have different cultures compared to the Waganda, same to Banyankole and Wachiga. So those different cultures and customs were introduced to the inhabitants of the East Africa who actually um, adjusted to those cultures and got used to them. And eventually they started also having, um, taking part in those cultures. And before you know, it was wide and people were like, everything is this way. And the cultures were, were introduced all over the world. Yeah, good. Thank you so much. We have some more hands up. Our default, they, can you continue on cultures? To ex mm. yes. yeah. Crown, do you have something to yes. talk about cultures? Yes. Yes, please. Okay, I think when they came, the people, the original people, they had their own cultures, but then they, the Bantu introduced their own cultures, like, okay, let's say the different cultures, like the cultural practices, different dances, then cultural food, also like the, play, the clothes they wear were also different from the original people, so the people, the original inhabitants, they also started practicing those things which they thought looked good. I think that's how. Okay. Thank you. Can we hear from Namagembe Majori? Something uh, on maybe. Culture? Summer, we've, we, teacher Beatrice. I request that you pick on someone to explain the point of new farming methods. We skip that point. Okay. Okay, teacher, let me explain that new farming method. So I think for the new farming method, it's like when the Bantu were in Tehran and then the inhabitants were still there, I think for them, they used to just grow crops. They used not to know how these things of manure, things like such things like that. And then when the Bantu came in, they introduced some of the new methods of crop growing. Like let's say the weeding, you, you have to weed your crops, you can, you can provide manure to help them grow well. I think it's something like that. Thank you very much. Let's look at the screen again for the contribution. That, that thing got old. <laughs> but what, I didn't hear, it got old. Try to keep up. Nami Rembe, can you please? Yeah. Can you, can you mute yourself so that you, later you make the right submission? We are looking at the continuation of the effects. And if you don't have an answer for that, you lower your hand. Can we hear from Ikiriza Angela? Ikiriza Angela, unmute and submit. I want to talk about, I wanted to talk about new, firm, new farming methods. Go ahead. Okay. 
So they introduced, uh, like, you know, we earlier mentioned that they introduced early, um, iron tools, such as hoes and all that. So they used to use these hoes, they would dig, they would cultivate the land and grow the crops, yeah. And they'd also grow them according to the season. For example, in the dry season, you're harvesting, and in the wet season, you're planting crops. Thank you. Next person. Vanessa. Uh, teacher, for me, I'm talking about displaced some people in East Africa, like the original inhabitants of like the people who are living there at first, like when they came, they, they had to create space. So those ones went away and then it led to displacement. Okay. Thank you. If we may Next add something. Person. Teacher, let me add something on this. Hmm. When we talk of the people who were already in East Africa, the population the Bantu found in East Africa was a little bit primitive. They were not as developed as the Bantu. Some of them were of the pygmy race, and some of them were not as strong as the Bantu. And the example includes people like the, the Bushmen, so those who were weak, the Bushmen who were weak were displaced and they moved further south. And eventually we shall discover that they went to Southern Africa in places like Botswana, like South Africa, Namibia, they left East Africa. So when we talk of displaced some people, we can add there like the, the Bushmen. Thank you. Oh, yeah, okay. and then Another some some reminder. That when one is yes. explaining the point, please, can you pick on the point? Explain if there are examples, back up your point with examples. Yeah, so let's move on, teacher. Okay, I have a Cynthia. Unmute and submit. That second point. I have a Cynthia. We Maybe see your hand up. Excuse me, teacher. Yeah. Can I talk about the third point? Third point, okay. go ahead. Uh, like, for example, uh, those, those times, the inhabitants, maybe the way they would, like, their administration was just families, you know? Like, you group yourself in a family and you call that. But I think when the Bantu came into East Africa, they introduced kingdoms. Thank you. We Thank shall you. get. We shall add on later. Let's hear from some other person. You need a couple. Um, I'd like to talk about the last point, which says it led to insecurity, insecurity in the areas where they settled. I think when they settled there, they fought many wars with the local people in East Africa, and it left a lot of property destroyed and lives of the people as massive death. For example, the Angoni fought with the year was in Tanganyika. Wow. Okay. It Why are people dodging from... point number two? Excuse me. Uh, yeah, yes, please. She has given a good answer. Can we now get another person to talk about point number, number two? two. They, are, they, they are dodging that point. Nakalema from S1S. I think for the intermarriages, since they found some people, like in the areas they settled, they intermarried with them and like, like they get back to other cultures, like maybe, I don't know some of the examples of the tribes that were like out of the intermarriages. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you very much for your presentations. I think now people know how to explain the point in history that you get the point, explain, and then give the possible examples, if possible. But if the examples are not there, you don't have to force and give wrong ones. So oh, on that note, teacher Beatrice, can we move on? Yes. Can we move on uh, to the next step of the points and then they read out? please lower our hands all of us all of you lower your hands so 
this this is the way the point that those points are supposed to be explained we we would love to have people to read them out for the rest of the class so what we are going to do girls we are going to get volunteers you raise your hand which already is being done and when you're picked on you unmute and submit and we are going to be systematic we shall have somebody talk about the first point if you are not in at peace with the first point lower your hand so that we don't pick on you and then you say you are going to do number three let's be systematic thank you Kwagala. okay point one the bantu introduced the knowledge of iron working and the use of iron tools like hose pangas and access to the people of east africa Okay. Next, Chirabo Hope Yunis. Uh, population increase in the areas where the Bantu settled because they came in large numbers and this meant the increase in food production. Okay, can we have Anima? The Bantu introduced the growing of food crops like bananas, beans, and yams on large farms using iron tools. Okay. As we wait it's for a another... Continuation. It's a continuation. Yes. Nachibude Gladys. The Bantu introduced new crops in East Africa like bananas, beans, yams, and today many tribes still depend on these food crops. Okay. Uh, Can we have may a... I ask, may I ask a little bit, Richard Beatrice? Is there a difference between the point that has just been read here and then this previous one? There are two points here that um, this last, that the band to introduce the growing of food crops. Then when we go to the next slide, it says the band to introduce new crops. Are those same points or they are different? Can you Atwine, explain that. Are they the same or they are different? They're different. Okay, they are how different. are they different? Because, because when you say they introduced new crops like the bananas, they before they introduced the, what's it, the growing of the crops, I have lost the point, okay. Uh, before they they introduced the growing of, of these bananas, beans, and yams, and also introduced. Okay, I've lost the point. Okay, the oh, point sorry. there. Let me go back to the other slide. The point, the that last point says the band to introduce the growing. Of food crops. And then the other one, the Bantu introduced crops. This one has to do with, can we pick somebody who knows the difference? To give us the difference before we come in. Mm. Okay, Kanga V, Sharon. Kanga V, your hand is up. Girls, if you know you don't have an answer, please lower your hand. We don't want to get disappointed. Kangave has nothing at your Cynthia. Have we lost them? Okay, teacher, let's try to clarify on the point. Eh? There is a okay. difference between the two points. The, this last point here says the band to introduce the growing of food crops, right? Then when we move on to the next one, it says the band to introduce new crops in East Africa. So there is a difference. In the first one, they introduced the growing of new cr food crops. And here, they just, we just see them introducing those crops that were being grown. I think, is it clear? I don't know whether it's yes. clear to the girls. Meaning, yeah, teacher, then we move. That, we, meaning that in the first one, it was a practice of growing, a practice of mm. cultivation, a practice of farming. 
Then mm. in the second one, the exact crops that were introduced. Introduced. Thank you very Vanessa, much. Vanessa, what do you have to say? Uh, I'm mentioning the, this other point, the Bantu introduced new methods of farming like mulching, shifting, shifting cultivation, irrigation, uh, etc. Good. Thank you. Next person. Atwine Stacy. Stacy. Um, the Bantu introduced the new languages in East Africa, i.e. Luganda, Lusoga, Winyankole. Great. Among others. Mm -hmm. Let's move on. Next person to read the next point. Imochu Masi. The Bantu absorb most of the non Bantu tribes they met in East Africa, and those who refused to be absorbed absorbed migrated to other areas like the sun and koi koi. Okay, thank you. We have to say something on that point, class. Yeah. We're asking who are some of the people who were settled in East Africa before the Bantu. And mm -hmm. we told you that there were groups settled there, but they were a little bit primitive, primitive. or not as developed as the Bantu. There are two mm -hmm. examples here. They are called the sun, Another name for the sun is Bushmen. So when you read somewhere and you get a word Bushmen, it is another reference to the sun. sun. Then we have also the Koi Koi, who were in East Africa. But when the Bantu came, some of them accepted and they were taken up into the culture of the Bantu and others moved away. Those are the examples. Thank you. Can we have yeah. another? Can we hear from? My Inja Maria Martha. The Bantu abandoned their cultures and adopted the cultures of the people they met in East Africa, e.g., circumcision among the Bagisu, etc. Okay, thank you. Shalom, Walube. The Bantu displaced some people in East Africa, especially those in the fertile areas, e.g. the Angoni displaced the Yao out of their fertile lands in southern Tanzania. Thank you so much. Could there be the best example apart from Ngoni? Can, can, can we get another example of the people that were displaced apart from uh, the Yao that were displaced by the Ngoni? At the coast, maybe, who displaced who at the East African coast? Teacher Beatrice, do you hear me? Yes, please. Yeah. Um, we needed to fit in the best example to this point. Ngoni looks not to be the best example to this point because we are not looking at the Ngoni. Um, Maybe the best example we could bring in here could be the, the coastal local inhabitants, like the Bushmen, right? That one could serve us better. Okay, we yeah. have three hands up. Can we hear from okay. them, please? Maybe we have something. Nachiriowa, Yvonne. Nakariowa, thank you. Maybe we could read. We could encourage them to read, then at the end they ask questions. I don't know how to look at it. I look at that. Okay. Yes, we mm. yeah, we are continuing. Let somebody we now have Nakalema. Nakalema, please contribute. And time seems to be against us also. Bantu introduced the system of permanent houses, an idea which was adopted by the local people, e.g., they built brown grass thatched house. Thank you. We are moving on a little quickly. Can we have Walakira? There were intermarriages between the Bantu who settled along the coast with coastal Arabs giving rise to Swahili people, Afro-Arabs. Please unmute. Thank you. Sorry, mute yourself. Kangave. 
there were intermar wait. The ban to introduce a new system of centralized administration in East Africa, which led to formation of kingdoms like Ganda and Kole, Bunyoro, etc. Thank you. Kahuga, we missed you sometime. Can you now communicate something, Kahuga Charity? The, the battle led to insecurity in the areas they set because of the increase in population. The battle led to have changed it. Come on, can you repeat? The battle led to insecurity. The ban to led to insecurity in the areas they settled because of the increase in population that led to conflicts over land. Great. Abuze, Martha Purit. Teacher, we move on to the next slide. Teacher Sally. Teacher, are we together? Next slide. The Bantu introduced the Kitemi type of agriculture. Oh my God. The Bantu introduced the Kitemi type of agriculture. The system was common among the Banyakole and Yamwez. Teacher Sally, are you with us? Teacher Sally? Hello? Okay. I see you, Edith. I see you, Edith. Yes. Contribute. The Bantu are introduced. The Bantu introduced a new system of centralized administration in East Africa, which led to the formation of kingdoms like Baganda, no, Uganda, Amkore, Bunyoro, Wanga, etc. Okay. Let me add something on the last point. Girls, can we please? Okay. Let me see whoever has not spoken anything. Katusime. Otherwise, we are now going to lower our hands. Just in case we've not said anything yet. Do you have anything new to say? I'm sorry. I, I think I had my network had gone off briefly, but I think I'm now back. You're welcome. As if I submit on the point of uh, centralized system of administration, then I'll come in and explain the point of the Chiteme system of uh, method of, of farming. Hello. Yes, please. Are you going to share the screen again or we just go on? Mm, since we have the last two points in the head. The network seem not to be okay right. on my side, but you, you could share the point of a centralized system of administration. You explain, then I also come in and explain the second last one, which was talking about uh, the Chiteme system of of, of of farming. Okay. Yeah. Excuse so, me, teacher. Yes, yeah. please. Can I share my screen? I, I took I screenshot the thing, the previous slide. Okay, so, please go ahead. Hello. Yes, please. Yes, we are, as the teacher goes on, we are looking at centralized system. Can we get from the class, what do we mean by the Bantu introduced centralized system of administration? Namagembe Majori, your hand is up. Mm -hmm. 
because I was lost. Yeah. I, was, I just wanted to say that I was lost. I really got to, so I just wanted to know where we are, but I've understood because I just said it. Can we clear these hands up? Ikiriza, what are you saying? The centralized system of monarchy refers to the way even the Gatwezi used to rule their people. It was in a way that a king was at the top, followed by the prime minister, then the chiefs. And these tribes had different ways of referring to their kings or their prime ministers and the chiefs who came last that were administrate that were administrating this role in villages. Yeah. Thank you. Can we hear from Adeke on a point of, ad, of centralized system of administration? Do you see something on the screen? Yes. Okay. Yes, um, yes teacher. Adeke, please. Uh, yes, I wanted to say that centralized system refers to like monarchy whereby the king is the top, like he's heading the kingdom. For example, we have the Buganda Kingdom, the um, like whereby the king is the one who is in charge of everything. And yeah, that's what I understand by centralized. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Finally, there is the okay, Tessie. Time is on our side. Um, teacher, what I understand by centralized system of administration is that yes, the teacher, king was the king was like the supreme leader then he had people below him who helped him administer his rule in the communities or the villages around him but by centralized system of administration i understand that the king was the supreme leader then the prime minister the chiefs and other people who helped him co like administer his rule that's what i understand by centralized system of That's administration. Very good. <laughs> That's very good. From there, as we move on, time is rushing. I I request that we also get to understand what is the Kiteme type of agriculture. What does Kiteme mean? From the girls, or oh, maybe with the interest of time, I would explain. Do you hear me? Yes. Okay. Yes. About the Kiteme, there's a band to introduce the Kiteme type of agriculture and that this system is common or was common among the Banyankole and then the Nyamwezi. Uh, Chiteme system of, of, um, of agriculture is a system where one burns, that you burn, you first of all set your plot of land, your, the bush on fire, then you slash, after you've slashed you go back and begin preparing your land for the, for planting of the seeds. I don't know whether I'm clear that you first burn, right? You burn that piece of land you're going, because by during those days, those, those areas were bushy. So that among the Banyankole and the Nyamwezi, they could first, before um, going to plant maybe their maize, their millet, they would first of all burn, burn that plot of land. Then they would uh, slash. After slashing, they would now go dig, prepare the land, and then plant the seeds. I hope it's, it's clear, right? Thank you. Yeah. OK. Teacher Beatrice? Yes. I think um, the time seems to be out. I need to do roll call as um, as you come in. Okay. And unless if, if there are questions, maybe those burning ones, eh? can you ask? From the effects, are there some questions? Mm. If they are not there, then we continue. Yes. May you please repeat what is the definition or the explanation you gave for the Chiteme. Chiteme. The, the word is Chiteme, Chiteme, not Chiteme. Yes. Chiteme. It was yes. a system of, uh, of farming where the band could first of all. Excuse me. Their... Yeah. You're excused. Yes, please go ahead. 
Peter, may please continue? We continue. Is it okay? On the definition of the cheat. Chiteme, okay. It was a method of farming that was used by the barn to in such a way that they would first of all burn their pieces okay, of you are land. That's the definition of the chiteme. Yes, this I'm trying to explain. Chiteme means yes. It was a method of farming that was used by the Bantu where they could first of all burn their plots of land because they expected them to, by then they were bushy. They would first of all burn the, the bushes. Then after burning, they would come in and slash. After slashing, they would now come in and dig, uh, making the plots of land ready for, for, for the growing of the crops. I think that is that. Eh? Is it clear? Yes, thank you, teacher. Yes, yes teacher. Okay, let's thank move yes, on. Teacher. teacher Beatrice, I request that I, I, I first of all roll call, then you come in. Okay. Thank you. So while teacher is doing something, we thank you girls for your participation. You're welcome. Can we find out from these three people why their hands are up? Sophia, um, excuse I, me. Yes, Sophia, talk to us. Excuse me, teacher. Yes, could you please okay, send okay. the map on Google Classroom? We do what? Could you please send the map on Google Classroom? No, I We're want you to seeing. learn how to draw maps. Mm -hmm. Hello, I want yes, you please. to learn how to draw maps. That's why I gave that question six. You have to do the drawing of the map yourself. And then use the information that we have so far covered and then locate the areas where the Bantu entered East Africa, which is your assignment. Okay, teacher. Then, uh, Ayebare, what do you have to say? Excuse me, teacher. Okay. I wanted to know, is the language Runyankole or Lunyankole? I, th I think it is with R. Okay, thank you. Another person we see divine by the way, it's, it's Lunyankoli, not Lunyankoli. It depends on who is saying it. Now, Nalule will say Lunyankoli, but other people will say Lunyankoli. But it doesn't do much harm. Can we now listen to Atwine? Stacey, you have something to say? Um, teaching. Yes. I was asking about if I say like the Bantu introduced the Chiteme type of agriculture, doesn't that fall into the introduced new methods of farming? No, but this particular one, we single it out because it is special. Not every other group of people do that. That's why we single it out. So you go ahead and single it out. It will earn you marks. Okay, thank you. Crown? I'm going to post a recording on Google Classroom. And that Pardon? PowerPoint. We don't hear you well, Crown. Are you going to share the PowerPoint on Google Classroom? We shall see what to do. Mm -hmm. Then uh, we have some other person, Lakika, Gloria. Gloria, unmute and submit. Girls, what do you want to say, Mutamba? Um, teacher? Yes. About the previous work, before the lesson, the other previous lesson, I had written some notes about the course of the Bantu from one of my textbooks. And the source was actually the same, similar to what you had sent to Google 